Hi everyone, and thank you for tuning in for today's schemap tip where we're gonna take a closer look at using the um, Alt plus right mouse button when we're inside our select toolbar um, selections to give us access to the quick access menu. My name is Jonathan Hill. I am an engineer here with ATA Engineering and we're well known both for our robust engineering services where we tend to focus on analysis and test driven design as well as for our role as a Siemens partner and reseller of great software products like FEMAP, Inex, Simpson International, Star CC and Plus and more. So with that, let's jump straight into FEMAP now. I just have a, um, a sample problem here um, with some translations results shown. Um, and first, I'd just like to point what the regular right mouse, right mouse button click gives you. It pulls up this, um, this quick access toolbar uh, or this quick access menu. And so from here, um, there's a lot of different options that are all really good. I change these pretty frequently so I can turn tool tips on and off. Um, I can change my snap options. I can pick between pick normal and pick front and I can choose how, um, if I draw a box or something, if I'm picking any inside or all inside. Um, so again, there's a lot of really great options in here. Um, another tool that I use all the time that I'd like to point out is the select toolbar up here. Um, so you can select just about any entity type. Um, I like to use this for instance, if I wanna check material properties, um, I'll just select the material and then it'll come over to the entity editor and I can come down and look, you can also um, right click while you're inside the select toolbar or while the select toolbar is active. Um, and now I have different options, right? So I can edit my material. Um, I can list the material out to the message window at the bottom. Um, I can change the color, things like that. And of course this is context sensitive. So if I change to node, um, now I can list my node, edit the node, create loads and constraints, copy, rotate, reflect. Um, so there's a lot of options. Um, and I like to have this as well. You know, I'm, I'm selected a node and now I can see the coordinate systems and um, things like that. Um, but sometimes I need to go back and I need to change some of my um, selection options. Um, and so the way you can do that, um, if we remember that the right click now is gonna pull up this different set of entity select options. Um, if I hold down Alt and do a right click, now I get back to my quick access menu. So on the fly, without having to come back up to the toolbar and change settings, um, I can change my pick method. Um, I can even turn on tooltips. So that's probably um, my favorite use case for this is um, if I wanna query the displacement at the end of a node, um, you know, I turned on tooltips really quick, again, just by doing Alt plus the right mouse button. Um, and that pulled up this option and then I can turn on tooltips. And then once I have a tooltip, um, you know, I can just right click on the tooltip and either list it down to the message window or I can even convert it to text. Um, and then that way, when I turn my toolbar off, my tooltip will stay on the screen. Um, a final note for this is that in order for the tooltip um, to show up as an annotation, you just need to have your text turned on. So if it's turned off, you won't see anything, uh, but if it's turned on, you'll find it right there. Um, so that is today's tip. Um, Thank you all again for tuning in. Definitely reach out to us if there's a tip you'd like to see in the future or if there's um, any other questions that we can help you out with. Thanks everyone.